Bergman is, of course, professor of economics at Princeton University, an op-ed columnist with The New York Times, where his piece on the so-called cash for trash rescue appeared this morning. Welcome. Hi there. Uh, I want to get your analysis of the, the latest stage of the bailout, but first, I'm, I'm very confused by Senator McCain's response here. He does not like the unchecked authority that so many are complaining about, so he wants to give Se uh, Secretary Paulson the unchecked authority immediately. Well, he wants to do something immediately, and, you know, it, he is trying to have it both ways. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure he was quite said that. But no, he's, uh, um, and there's a lot of debate. A lot of people think that McCain is going to try to in the end vote against this thing and, and pose as the opponent of, of big government. Uh, but it's, it's yeah, it, it's, uh, I mean, let's put it this way. It, Obama is a, being a little slow on the uptake. We'd like to yeah. hear more from him. But uh, McCain is really trying to play this on both sides. The, uh, the Bush administration's hair on fire approach to this, you have analogized this to the authorization for use of military force. Section 8 of the bailout, whatever the Secretary of the Treasury does, is not reviewable by the courts. Clearly, that briefing of lawmakers last Thursday must have been like one of Dick Cheney's warnings about Saddam Hussein. It's much worse than we're telling the public. Is this another scam, or is this J.P. Morgan in 1907 locking the bankers in the room, not letting them out till they did something? Oh, uh, well, you know, my hair is kind of on fire. This yeah. is a very scary financial crisis. It's not clear to me that that extending the debate a couple more days is going to, you know, make be make or break. And you really want to do it right. The amazing thing to me was the arrogance of Paulson, because he comes along and says, "Okay, we have this terrible crisis." And without consultation, without any discussion, he comes up with this plan that basically is, you know, all, all your decisions are belong to me, right? Uh, and no, no future review, no courts, no agency can can uh, can establish accountability, without um, explaining. There's nothing from Treasury explaining why this thing should work. And I've been in conversations with lots of people, Wall Street people. There's been this very active discussion among economists who know something about it over the weekend. And nobody that I know is convinced that it will work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's So this whole thing of we have to do it now, 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 and otherwise the world will end. And there's no particular reason to believe. And by the way, Hank Paulson's record on this financial crisis. While he's certainly better than some other Bush administration officials, he has in fact been wrong again and again. And there's no reason to think that he has the magic answer. And is there a reason even given for why there is to be no accountability? Why that section is was written in such a bare-boned, in-your-face kind of 32 words, sign here or else? Yeah, that's very odd. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I mean, the th the guess is that there is actually going to be, if, if they get their way, that there are going to be some real giveaways. They're going to go to some firms, they're going to buy the stuff for a lot more than it's worth to, in order to rescue the firms, and then they don't want a, somebody to be account. But, you know, if, if you're going to do this, let's, uh, let's, let's be upfront. Let's have, a, let's have a mechanism where the public gets some ownership if we do that. The Chris Dodd parts of yeah. uh, his alternative to this, which I guess you're, you're hinting at there, uh, protection, oversight, something for whatever amount of money we're giving away, is that essential to anything? Because the, the more I see of this as an outsider in this field, the more it reminds me of the movie Blazing Saddles and Cleavon Little holding the gun to his own head saying, right. you know, nobody moves or the sheriff gets it. Yeah, the line I've been hearing is the Bush administration can stay irrational mo longer than you can stay solvent. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, the, uh, then, then the world can stay solvent. Yeah. Uh, no, the, the, the real problem... Uh, I think if there's no equity stake, then it's a deal breaker. And what's really amazing, by the way, is Treasury reduced the, it produced this bare bones document with no explanation. That's the U.S. Treasury Department. Yes. Senator Chris Dodd, who is, after all, just a senator, has produced a much more detailed, much more carefully thought out document. Uh, the, the Dodd plan is much more convincing than the stuff from Paulson. Is it, is it that they don't know what to do, or is it that they want a, the proverbial blank check? Uh, well, they want both. They want the proverbial blank check. And look, this was, this was just a week ago, just eight days ago, Paulson thought, well, we're finally going to just stop, you know, stop the bailouts. We're going to say no. Lehman, we're going to let it fail and no problems. And then the world started falling in on them. And all of a sudden, it completely reverses and says, I want total power to dispose of $700 billion of taxpayers' money with no... No constraints. It's very, yeah. But so that, do you think that this that this inclusion of Section Eight, this 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 really kind of just naked power grab contained in this, is going to ironically work towards the forces who want yes. uh, over uh, oversight? It's going to be essentially necessitate this and in a hurry. I, I'm thankful for Section Eight because there, there is there's an intellectual argument which I and others have been trying to have, saying you know this plan does not make sense. We need to restructure it. But we might have been just overcome by the rush. It could have been the Iraq War resolution all over again, except that people took a look at that and said, what? 
And that was kind of a signal that these people are not serious, that they're not really trying to reach out. This is, you know, this is a power grab. Uh, let's stop and talk about this for a while. So I think this may have been a, a great gift. Maybe there was a mole in the Treasury legal department who, who uh, realized that this was a bad plan and gave an out. Put in a poison pill while you have yeah. a chance. Paul Krugerman of the New York Times and, and Princeton, um, as always, great time, uh, time. Thanks for your time, especially in person. Thanks so much. Thank you.